for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all how I was able to pump 40 ounces a day and how I'm still breastfeeding, you know, 19 months out. So I'm going to be sharing all my little tips and tricks. I got a whole blog post. Uh, that I wrote about this last year that I'm just gonna kind of read off of and skim over. So if you wanna go check it out, it's got a little bit more things in detail. Our first category is items you need in order to pump. First thing is a double electric breast pump. Um, I use the Spectra S1, I absolutely love it because it has the battery where you can, you can make it portable and you don't realize how inconvenient being plugged up to a wall is. Um, when you're having to pump because you literally cannot get up and do anything. <laughs> Another thing about a double pump is it will allow you to pump both sides um, for, you know, 30 minutes at a time for the Spectra, but, you know, you can always redo it. Increase the intensity. They do like a little letdown setting where it just kind of like first gets it going and then it's like... And a quick little Google search will tell you where you can get your pump covered. And some insurances only cover a specific pump, so check into that. But some also cover supplies. This can include your tubing, your backflow protectors, your valves and membranes, and some even cover storage bags and bottles. So be sure to look into it. I also had a hand pump. I really only used my hand pump in emergencies, but it was very, very useful to have. Um, especially if my pump was dead or if I was out and about and forgot my pump at home. Just how you pack a diaper bag in order to go somewhere, pack you a pump bag. Um, this is essential because if you are exclusively pumping, you have to stay on a routine. You have to do it, you know, without fail every three, four hours. Um, otherwise, you know, your supply, it registers in your body, um, you know, oh, I made too much milk or I need to make more milk. So it's very important that you stick to a strict schedule. She's going to get grumpy at me because I'm not paying her no attention in that row. Oh, how beautiful. Get you a pump bag and a cooler. This is especially uh, important when you're first starting out because, like I said, you're going to be pumping every three to four hours. And if you're out and about, and you got to have a place to put your milk. And um, so just be prepared for that. Have like a little ice pack in there just to keep it chilled till you get home. Uh, breast milk can sit out at room temp for four hours before, you know, you need to do something with it. Baby needs to drink it or it needs to go in the fridge. Toe? What? Toe? Cheeto? She says toe for Cheeto. Now we're headed into the tips and tricks portion. So one of the most important things that you have to do is drain the breast. Be sure each time after you pump, it is empty. Hand express after you get done pumping. This will tell your body you need to make more milk. Um, if you don't do this, your body's going to think that, okay, I've made enough or I might have made too much and it's going to cut back. Your supply will decrease. You want your supply to increase. As soon as you get done pumping, just, you know, pretend to be a cow for just a little bit, okay? Another tip that I've got is to power pump. So what this means is after you've drained the breast, continue pumping. So if, even if it's just like another 15 minutes, it's telling your body, hey, you did not make enough milk. Make some more milk. You're probably not going to get much out, but it will tell your body to make more. But your body cannot make more if you don't have water. So I know, I know that's a very daunting idea to just drink water all day long, nonstop, drink water. You can't get around it. Just suck it up, do it, drink water. Every single time they nurse, if you're trying to nurse and pump, every single time you feed, every single time like all day. Okay, so now we're gonna move into supplements. Now supplements are a thing that, you know, you have to decide for yourself, you know, what you wanna take, what you wanna use, that sort of thing. I'm just gonna be sharing what I used and I do think that it, you know, helped me uh, to get where I was going. So like the day after she was born, the, we didn't have like any supplements or stuff with us. Um, Indeed, literally bolted to Target and got what they had and brought it back. I mean, he had, he just bought everything. Um, and the first thing that I used was the Upspring Milk Flow Lactation Supplement Drink Mix. Um, it was the chocolate flavor. <laughs> oh, I can just taste it now. Just thinking about it. Um, but it was delicious. I loved it. The next thing was the mother's milk lemon flavor little gummies or chewy. Like they look like caramel. Um, I only took these. We only bought these once. So I took those in the hospital. Um, I don't know if they, you know, really helped me at all. You know, like, like I said, I took, I took a handful of stuff. Um, and I didn't repurchase those, but I, I did start taking those when I was in the hospital. Uh, the next one is the Nursing Mother's Tea, the Lactation Smooth Vanilla Pink Stork. A little organic and caffeine free. Um, this one was just something that uh, I didn't drink during the day. I drank it at night. Uh, warm to kind of like relax. It was just kind of like a soothing kind of tea. Um, and, you know, like I said, obviously I don't know for sure if it helped. Because um, this one wasn't one that I took 
regularly, but I would incorporate it. My absolute favorite one was the Upspring, the double, double chocolate chip lactation cookie. <laughs> oh my gosh, these were so good. They have a, they have a strange flavor, um, like, like a distinct flavor, I guess you could say. And same with the chocolate drink. It's got a very distinct flavor that sticks with you, but oh my goodness, I love these cookies. And um, now these, along with the mix, I drank every day for probably, I drank and ate every day for probably like six months. Um, so I do think that they helped. And you know that it's in your system because you will start smelling weird, okay? You will smell kind of funky, a little off. And especially like your sweat. So for my, my bra, or like if I would like leak into my bra, it would have this distinct smell. Okay, it's from those supplements. <laughs> Moving along to what you need to be eating. Things that you can eat to increase your milk production. So, you know, there's so many articles and so many things out there telling you, eat this and you'll have more milk. Eat this and you'll milk, your milk will dry up. Like, I mean, you know, this. At the end of the day, everybody's different. You have to figure out what works for you. And what worked for me, obviously, water. Drink your water. I cannot stress that enough. If you're not drinking your water, nothing else is going to help. And along with that, I had oatmeal. Um, oatmeal, you know, is one of those things that kind of people recommend to incorporate because it should help increase your lactation. Like, you know, they make the oatmeal lactation cookies and like different things like that. So you can put oatmeal in anything. You can put it in a smoothie. Um, you can put it in cookies. You can do, if you don't like oats themselves, um, you, can, you can incorporate them in other things and you kind of won't notice them, but I love oatmeal. So I was eating two bowls of oatmeal a day and I loved it. I forgot to mention that I also drank the body armor drinks. Now, these weren't something that I drank every day religiously, but I would incorporate it if I thought my supply was running low. Um, there are so many more videos that I can make as far as, you know, tips on, and videos on just breast milk in general and like, you know, how it can be stored, when it can be stored, how long it can be left out, um, you know, tips on just different things. Like there's so much that I did along with this to help and to make things a lot more easier. But this is just the gist of, like I said, how I was able to pump 40 ounces in a day. So I hope that it was a little helpful. Um, I feel like I just kind of jabbered and it's actually been about three hours of me making this video. <sighs> Cause she was crazy during the first half then she took a nap and then I read a sad story and cried for a little bit and then I had to pull myself together <laughs> and get back on camera. But anyways, uh, I hope that you learned something. I hope that this helped you in some way um, or just you know gave you a little bit of hope that you can do it. You can do it. Just stick to it. And I'm not saying like you have to do it or like that, that formula fed is bad or anything. This is just for people who really want to breastfeed and maybe are having a hard time with it or want to know how to increase their milk supply. Let me tell you, I was watching every single video out there. How I pumped and they always put it in there like how many milliliters I pumped. Making it be like 900 and something. And I'm like, oh my gosh. 40 ounces a day was about my average. Uh, there were some days that I did more than that. There were some days that I did less than that. And it was all dependent upon my schedule um, as far as staying strict to a routine and as far as, you know, either power pumping or just kind of telling my body no, um, or draining the breast. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful in some way, form or fashion. Please give me a like and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. I'm trying to hit 100,000 by the end of the year. I'm going to do a big giveaway if I can get 100,000, so please subscribe. Um, and I just hope you have a great day and God bless.